This will hopefully be a project for another video down the way. I'm still compiling all the parts I need to uh, restore this thing, and I might actually keep this one, but we'll have to see about that. So I'm sure some of you remember this gray Craftsman that I picked up. Both the deck and the bag are in really good shape. The motor itself is uh, a little, little worse for wear. The guy that I got this from did not take care of it. The oil was really low. It did have oil in it, but not very much, so I topped it off. Did some work to the carburetor and cleaned out the gas tank. Did a whole bunch of other stuff to it. You guys can see in that other video that's in the description bar. Just everything that I went, and went through with this motor to try and save it. Well, this is uh, the time when I say it's really not worth fixing. At least as far as that motor is concerned. Over here on the ho in the hoard... My last complete motor, these two aren't complete, that one needs to be rebuilt. I've got parts on the way for that. It's a Honda. But uh, this one's a Honda as well. It's a GCV 160. I don't know the condition of it as far as if the flywheel key is broken. I will check that probably after I put it on the mower to be honest. Uh, I do know the only thing that I know about this motor is that it has compression and that the flywheel key might be might be broken. This was taken off of one of those lawn mowers. I believe it was the Husqvarna one from that trailer park. I think I got about eight mowers out of that haul and was able to sell almost all of them in some fashion or the other. And this is one of the last remaining motors that I have that I ended up keeping from that haul. Uh, the other one that I had had before this was a Kohler, and it was sitting right there, and I swapped that onto a Craftsman, and it was self-propelled, so it worked out great. That one was from the Lawn Boy. This one should work and fit on this one just fine. So, of course, the first order of business is to go ahead and remove the blade. That's easy enough. Now I'll just go ahead and remove these three perimeter bolts. And so here's the Honda. Set in place, it's not bolted down. I'll go ahead and bolt it down. It seems to be lining up okay. They typically do. Not really a known fact by everybody, but typically any brand lawnmower engine will work on any deck. Unless, of course, it's an old lawnmower like that, then it's just proprietary. But a lot of these newer lawnmowers, you can put typically really any motor on them that you wish. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, I, uh, by hand, put the bolts in place. Well, so that was easy enough. All three perimeter bolts that hold the motor on are now in place. That blade is back on this motor. Uh, same exact adapter. So now we can go ahead and flip it right side up. And this blade cable should, I say that, it should work. Though that sometimes they sometimes they don't. I'll check it. Awesome. Looks like this is a uh, older Honda in the sense that it's got a manual choke on it. Well, that's cool. I'll go ahead and verify that this thing has compression again. So it definitely has compression. I just pulled the oil dipstick out. It definitely needs an oil change. So to check the flywheel keys on these, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is just pull your starter recoil off, and then you pull that, take that nut off under there. I'll show you guys just how to do it. So if you guys want to see how to use one of these, the video is in the description bars for that as well. But you basically connect your two arms on both sides. The puller part is right there. Tighten it down really tight by hand and then whack the side of the flywheel with a hammer and it literally just pops off. That's it jumped like that. So now that I've got that done and out of the way, we can look at our flywheel and flywheel key. So the flywheel key is perfectly fine. 
flywheel looks okay. Drop that. So I'll just go ahead and line it back up and throw everything back together. I'm happy with that. I always start these by hand and then I drill them down with the pneumatic. Simple as that. So I guess we can just throw it all back together and put some gas in it and see what happens. So I just went ahead and lubed up this one. This one I had completely taken apart. It was from that, re that one I'm about to rebuild. This is the old one. One of the dogs is actually missing out of it. As you can see, just that one opens. That one doesn't even exist. It's not even there. So I'll hold on to this because uh, one of the new dog probably isn't all that much money. Got some random cattage going on. So anyways, we'll go ahead and stick this back on the mower. So now that this is back on, we'll go ahead and start these by hand. And just go ahead and tighten them down. I should just say snug them down. You don't actually want to over tighten these. So I cut this string a little too long. So I'll take about eh, maybe a foot off. And now the starter recoil is on, properly adjusted. So I'll just give her a few quick tugs. Now I'm gonna do an oil change on it. We'll go ahead and throw some gas in it and see just where we're at as far as the carburetor is concerned. One thing that I absolutely love about these Honda motors, you can use 10W30 oil in them. Same thing with the, new, the Kohler motors too, I guess. Let's go ahead and tip it over, change our oil. One recent new favorite tool that I just bought from Walmart for a few bucks is this measurable oil funnel. This thing is awesome. I've been using the hell out of this lately. Just pour in the amount of oil that you want to put in the mower, or motor rather, and uh, usually that's about 20 ounces or half a quart. And uh, yeah, I always start with 20 ounces though and pretty much go from there. But it has all these different measurements on it. And it also has uh, all the way up to a quart. So that's nice. And the oil is perfect. So now we'll just throw some gas in it and see what happens. So now that it's got gas in it, you can go ahead and see if it'll start. We'll put it on full choke. Just making sure that linkage is working okay. So it's on full choke. Let's give it a start and see what happens. <laughs> Excellent. That uh, little bit of uh, smoke that almost gassed me out of the shop here, that was probably from the motor sitting on its side for so long. Some of that oil that was in it probably leaked past the rings and, uh, well, was obviously burned off. So now all I have to do with this thing now is just give it a good cleaning. I've got the bag over there in the hoard. Finally getting some rain it looks like. But as far as the mower is concerned, I sure love these Hondas. The carburetors are kind of fun to work with on these, but everything else is flat out easy on them. If I was to ever buy a brand new mower, it would definitely have one of these Honda engines on it. Or one of those old ones. I'm very glad that this motor was actually working perfectly. I didn't even have to mess with the carburetor at all, so I won't. And uh, it's just that much easier to sell with a Honda motor on it. Guys, I'll stay classy, stay tuned for future videos, and as I said earlier, I'm buying all the parts for that as I can find them. I just found the blade adapter on eBay, and it took me quite a while to find one, but I finally found one. So all I need to do is get some linkages for it, I think for the carburetor, and it should be good to go. I'll have a separate set of videos on that more than likely.